Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center with a Saturday evening update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. We'll keep you updated on what's going on in the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving the possibility of showers and thunderstorms. A complete update of your forecast coming up in just a little bit as we take a look in the latter half of the weekend, which has more chances of rainfall out there, unfortunately as we go into the next couple of days. So it could be a little soggy out there as well. We'll take a complete look at the forecast. If you can't stick around for the whole show, we'll be here for about 10, 15 minutes or so talking about weather. But if you can't, drop again more information into the comments section and you can find out more details there. Also, again, you can catch all the forecasts available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to find out a little bit more about what's going on with the forecast out across the Mid-South area. Currently in the Mid-South, we have, again, very quiet conditions out across the area for now, but we may not see that coming up a little bit later on. For those of you who live up around northwest Tennessee into this evening, just about 6.15 tonight, uh, 6.16 to be exact, there was a minor earthquake, 2.3 magnitude, right inside the Boot Hill of Missouri, very close, about 7 kilometers away from around the uh, Carothersville, Missouri area. So if you're in northwest Tennessee, northeast Arkansas, if you felt this, it was a fairly minor one. You have to get up a about to mainly 2.5 to 3.0 on the Richter scale to be able to see again, to be able to feel stuff like this. But if you felt this, United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis would like to know what you felt and when. So please go to my social media web pages. You can get there again, all kinds of information available there. And again, Facebook page, Twitter, and everybody else will have more information about this. Fill out the Did You Feel It report section because your information reported back to agencies like this can help seismologists, graduate students, volcanologists study more about how the energy passes through the Earth's crust. So if you felt this, it was a minor one, but again, if you did feel that, definitely want to fill out the information available about the earthquakes. You can go to earthquakes.usgs.gov for more or memphis.edu slash CERI for the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Great places to go to for all kinds of great science information into and around the area for there, for there. Temperatures again across the Mid-South dropping slowly over the next several hours. We're just not seeing again anything in the way of very cool air and for a lot of you out there as evidenced by the comments on social media you are beyond ready to get rid of the frost and the colder temperatures. So that's what we're going to do for the next several days from what it looks like. Overnight showers developing and continuing. Thunderstorms possible into tomorrow morning. Doesn't look like major severe weather but there is that marginal threat that we talked about in the comments section. So again, if you have a possibility of being outdoors tomorrow, definitely want to stay tuned for more information on the forecast as we go into tomorrow morning. If you're around the mid, wherever you're in, mid-south or otherwise, drop your location, give us a city state, and if you've got a weather report out there, got a weather station, a thermometer outside the kitchen window, whatever you've got, give us an idea as to what's going on in and around your location. Be glad to know a little bit more about where our viewers are checking in from tonight, so give us an idea as to what's going Going on out there. Currently, again, mostly cloudy skies as viewed from Germantown City Hall Cam on top of the water towers near Germantown Parkway around the, and just across the street from Germantown High School. Poplar Pike traffic, Germantown Road, and looking back toward the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall. Not seeing too much of a problem tonight. But here's the thing. With the rainfall on the way, we've got to get some more moisture in here. We may have light sprinkles happening several thousand feet up. But for them to get down to the surface, we've got to have a lot more moisture. This is very dry air for anything involving rainfall. And that just rips those raindrops apart, evaporates them. And that's all we've got left is just a little bit of cloud cover and not much else. So 71, very comfortable. This is the type of air we are going to be wishing for in July, August, and early September around this area when it gets a little bit on the steamy side out there for the next couple of days. Coming in for a landing at Memphis International Airport, and so far good clear visibility looking at the tower, terminal, and runways uh, into and around the area, but showing no delays at this time, catching a late flight from Memphis International Airport, so good news on that. Sherry Massey, 70 and cloudy in Olive Branch. Very good. A lot of people checking in from Olive Branch tonight. Very good. Stephen Sawyer, 71 
10.8. That's exact in Dyersburg. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from northwest Tennessee. Thank you very much for everybody for checking in uh, for this evening. Cherokee Village, Arkansas, Virginia, Sandlin, Wiles. Thank you very much uh, for checking in for this evening. And thanks to everybody else for dropping on by. Tired of rain, Zachary King, you and a lot of other people definitely want to get rid of some of that rain shower potential out there. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And 68 in Eureka Springs, April Hentz. Thanks a lot uh, for joining us. Katie Ward, Milan, Tennessee, and 69 degrees. Thank you very much there. No delays to report across the United States. If you'd like to get this information on your computer, all you have to do is go here, fly.faa.gov, for more information about what's happening. The Big River Crossing lit up quite nicely, doing its top-of-the-hour nighttime show. And again, beautiful evening for a stroll in downtown Memphis. A few bike riders and a few strollers out and about for this evening from our tower cam in the News Channel 3 parking lot. Watching the area around I-240 and Poplar, lots of slowdowns, lots of delays this weekend because of construction going on in this area. Major backups earlier this afternoon, but so far traffic appears to be moving along pretty well at this point in time, so not seeing again a lot of major backups from now. We'll keep our eyes on this, so keep it tuned for more on News Channel 3 uh, into around the rest of the weekend. Here's what it looks like again on our regional SATRAD storm system leaving the Rockies, heading out into the Plain States and starting to tap into that moisture off the Gulf of Mexico. And that's where we're seeing more cloud cover out there and more showers. Heaviest activity back into around central Arkansas. And as of right now, a lot of that has not reached the Mid-South. Again, remember we've got that dry air in place, so we're seeing speckles of rainfall here and there, but we're just not getting all that much. And then if you take a look back to the west of us, that's where we've got some more showers taking place around Fort Smith, Little Rock. Big anniversary for Fort Smith tonight where it comes to weather. We'll talk about why that is in just a little bit. Not seeing any lightning out here, so that's good news, but we may see some more rumbles of thunder with this activity making its way into the area. But until we get that moisture-rich air to allow the rain to get all the way down to the surface, Doubtful we're going to be seeing too much in the way of rainfall anytime soon. Beautiful day across the area. Temperatures finally back to where they should be for this time of the year. Mid to upper 70s for highs. Mid to upper 60s to lower 70s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. You can get this information on your computer system. Just go to wreg.com slash weather and click on the weather bug icon in the menu for the weather section. You can get tons more information available there to see what's going on. All right, running the numbers into tonight. Showers and maybe a few thunderstorms continue to drop on through the area as we get into late tonight, early tomorrow morning around daybreak. More showers, more thunderstorms off and on. Tomorrow afternoon could be some intensification as the main part of the storm system begins to move its way very close to into the Mid-South. So we could see a few stronger thunderstorms, it looks like, mainly later tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. And that, again, may include the potential of some severe weather. This does not look to be a severe weather outbreak, but we need to keep our eyes on that. Again, we're still in that prime time number one severe weather season for this time of the year, so we'll keep our eyes on that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. That'll go on through about News Channel 3 at 10, and as that system swirls on through by Monday morning, we could see some problems with the commute back to work or school. So again, this is where we could see some more problems out there when it comes to showers and thunderstorms. And again, by Monday morning, could be some slowdowns out there. So stay tuned for Corey Ventura. She'll have more on traffic coming up as we go into Monday morning. Threat for severe weather right now is mainly back down to our south. A marginal threat, again, not exactly a severe weather outbreak. Marginal threat down to the south and west of us around the Arklatex area. Not that much going on here, but into tomorrow, we are noticing again a little bit more of a threat developing according to the Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 forecast into tomorrow. A possible marginal threat of severe weather for southeast Arkansas and northwest Mississippi. Now the main threat at this time is going to be again damaging winds and large hail, but this is not a huge outbreak of severe weather. It is still possible, though. So, again, we'll be keeping our eyes uh, into the area for the evening hours, so we may see, again, that potential out there. Uh, a lot of people asking about rainfall. Yes, we are going to be seeing a little bit more about uh, that coming on through here. Avery Nellum, Nelum, kind of pardon me if I'm mispronouncing that. My bifocals aren't helping things out here. Gorgeous cooking out on the grill today. Sounds like a good idea. My wife has been asking about getting the grill cleaned off and getting a few things taken care of there So for right now. Again, this could be a problem tomorrow afternoon and evening. We'll be watching this very carefully 
into tomorrow. Now, the threat for a severe weather gone for Monday. We have a possibility of some leftover thunderstorms early Monday morning, but that's going to be about it. So the main, main possibility of rainfall making its way into the Mid-South as we go into tonight will continue overnight right on through the rest of the day tomorrow and could be, again, those potentials for showers and thunderstorms. little cooler tomorrow, temperatures back into the mid-60s, and there could be also the possibility of some more heavy rainfall Maybe some flash flooding. We're going to have to watch that carefully. One to two inches plus of rainfall tomorrow. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. Now by Monday, cool, but we should see just the chances of rainfall. So far, nothing showing up in the way of thunderstorms, but there is going to be that potential of some fairly widespread rain on Monday. Mainly just scattered light showers possible on Tuesday, and unfortunately, over the next several days, we do still see that potential for showers coming on through. Up and on potential out there, not again a huge amount of problems out across the Mid-South. Now by Friday, another chance of some thunderstorms, but then some really good news as we head into next week. If this forecast holds, very mild Plenty of sunshine next Saturday and Sunday look pretty good on the 10-day forecast. And then temperatures back in the lower 80s as we get a little bit closer to around next Monday and Tuesday. Not this Monday and Tuesday, but next Monday and Tuesday looking again at some more problems into the area. Thanks to everybody for stopping by for this evening and dropping your location and your uh, weather reports into around the comments section out there. Temperature for Sunday, Shirley Kane. Again, we're looking at a little bit cooler temperatures right now back in the mid-60s, but then also more clouds and more rainfall out there with our chances for showers and thunderstorms across much of the mid-south area. Now getting into, again, the rest of the forecast after that, we're going to be seeing some more changes coming our way, but not doing too bad. Keep up to date with the forecast changes on the radio if you're out and about in the mid-south. Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. You can catch my forecast throughout the rest Rest of the weekend out there and also keeping you updated on a lot of other things going on across the Mid-South where it comes to uh, showers and thunderstorms and that potential for severe weather across much of the Mid-South. But again, we're just not looking at a lot of activity for right now. Pardon me for being off screen for just a second here. I think we've gotten a minor glitch taking place trying to get back to where we should be at this point in time. And if this works... There we go. And thanking Louis Haskett for a nice view of northeast Arkansas. Sunrise from yesterday. Very nice view into and around the area there. Thanks to Jonathan Chu, Memphis resident and violinist, musician extraordinaire. If you've never heard his music before, he plays with uh, Kerry Job and also with the band Skillet, and he takes some pretty mean pictures out there, especially where it comes to weather, so great to have Mr. Chu along. His wife and my wife do a little bit of uh, business together, doing some clothing business type stuff, and he's out on tour a lot, but he does take some pretty good weather pictures and picture from around Midtown today of some of the clouds out there. If you'd like to follow him on Twitter, you can find out more at Chu Violin and listen to some of his. He plays duets with himself. That's pretty cool to see him do that on Twitter. Some really neat stuff. And this is kind of a neat thing for tonight, a personal anniversary of my own. I couldn't even believe that I almost forgot this. And thanking Daniel Dix, meteorologist back in Minneapolis, but was in town for this happening 22 years ago tonight. The city of Fort Smith, Arkansas was hit by a medium-sized tornado, and I was the only meteorologist on duty uh, at News Channel 5 in Fort Smith at K our sister station, KFSM. And hard to believe that it was the 22nd anniversary. We had some major damage around downtown Fort Smith. Uh, the tornado skipped as it went through the Boston Mountains up toward Fayetteville, Arkansas. And unfortunately, there was a... Uh, a fatality report of about four people killed inside the storm, but a major weather anniversary. And from what it looked like out there as it went through Van Buren, Fort Smith, and parts of around the area of I-40 around in that area. So again, just a major event taking place and hard to believe it's been 22 years since that happened. So uh, thanks to Daniel Dix for pointing that out. If you've got weather pictures out there, please let us know. We'd love to feature them and show them to everybody, but we can't send them, show them if you don't send them. So please let us know a little bit more about what you've got out there. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Austin Onic WREG on Facebook, and Aonic WREG3 on Instagram. Would love to see more of your pictures out there and pass them along to everybody if we can do so out there for the next couple of days. So thank you very much 
uh, for doing that one out there. We'll have another check of your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 on my page at about 8.35 and give or take about 15 minutes or so. We'll take a look at weather where the troops are. We'll also take a look and see if anybody's reported more about that earthquake tonight in and around Carothersville, Missouri. And, of course, more on your forecast updated throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3. Questions, concerns, ideas? Complaints, if you absolutely must, but you can drop them off here at austin.onic at wrg.com, and we'll be glad to hear from you. Thanks to everybody else for checking in from this evening, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. Mike Sadie is back with a big update on sports for tonight, and more details on your forecast with yours truly. That'll be coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us for Weather Overtime for Saturday night, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend.